Do you use monday.com? Let me show you how to integrate it with Jotform Sign. Hey, Jotformers, welcome back. I'm Kimberly, and I'm currently in the desktop version of my dashboard. So the first thing we need to do is we need to create a new signed document. So I'm gonna head up to the top left-hand corner where it says My Forms, and we're gonna choose My Signed Documents. Then we're gonna choose the green Create Signed Document button right up here. Now, if you already have a PDF that you want to utilize for this signed project, you can use the Upload Document option. But for this example, I'm gonna head over and use a template. And to keep things as simple as possible, I'm just gonna go ahead and use this very first one, the simple one-page lease agreement. And one thing that I like to do before I start making any changes or adding integrations, I wanna do a quick scroll just to see what I'm working with. So I can see that everything in orange right here is going to be the landlord and everything in purple is going to be the tenant. So if I scroll down here, I see we have both landlord and tenant to sign. Now with this, I definitely wanna make sure that I have their email address. Now this is very simple. It is very similar to our form builder. It's just drag and drop. So over on the left-hand side, I'm gonna choose add fields, grab the email, bring it right on in. And I can see that it's already as the tenant. If you drag something in and you need to change it, very simple, we have a drop down right here or properties opens up on the right-hand side. We can change it here as well. But this looks good to me. So let's go ahead and head up to that middle settings tab, then over on the left-hand side, integrations. And we can either search for Monday right up here, or I see it right here. So I'm gonna go ahead and choose this one. Next, we need to authenticate our account. So you're going to need your API key from the admin section of your Monday account. So I'm gonna go ahead and paste mine in here and authenticate. Then here is where we get to choose what action we want it to take once it receives this PDF. So let's see, we have either create an item or update an item. So for this, I'm gonna go ahead and create an item. Now we get to choose which board it goes on to. And for this example, I'm gonna go ahead and put this in leads. Then we're gonna select a group, new leads. And now we want to map the fields that we want to be imported into monday.com. So I can see we have the name and right now it is on me, the landlord, and I need it to be the tenant. So we're just gonna change this up and let's go ahead and add our tenant's email in here as well. And then we can keep adding new fields for as many things that you would like to add in. If you'd like to add an update, we can do that. We can also test the integration, but I'm gonna go ahead and just hit save and complete integration. But don't forget, if you wanna add even more pieces to this, you can always add another one here. So let's go ahead and complete integration and finish up. So the only thing left to do is give this a test. So I'm gonna head up to the send tab and I'm gonna enter in my tenants information. Now, something to be aware of is if I hit send to sign right now, both my landlord and my tenant are going to get this at the same time. And that's not what I want to happen. I want to ensure that my landlord gets it first to pre-fill out and then my tenant gets it second once they're done. So in order to do this, all I need to do is turn on citing order right here. And you can see we have some dots over on the left-hand side. So if we need to move things around different order, we can do that. But as of right now, landlord goes first, tenant goes second. We're good to go. So let's send a sign. Now let's head up to the landlord's email. And I'm gonna go ahead and click on the review and sign document button. And we can see up here we had three and it dropped down to two because it went ahead and pre-filled this in. And just for the sake of time, I'm just gonna go ahead and fill out these required ones. So we're gonna sign and we are going to date. Then we can do sign and complete and accept and send. Now let's head over to our tenant's email and review and sign document. And we can see we have four fields drop down to two. So let's go ahead and do a quick signature down here and then date, then assign and complete and accept and send. All right, let's head over to Monday. Now we added them to our leads. So let's go ahead and check our leads here. And here is our tenant, and it is as simple as that. If you have any questions about how to integrate your Monday account with Jotform Sign, definitely let us know. If you like this video and you got some value from it, be sure to hit that like button down below, and don't forget to subscribe and turn on that bell so you get notification every time we put out a new video, and I'll see you next time.